Hello and welcome to another video. Finally clear, finally out shooting again. And uh, we're at a place called, what is it, South? South Landing, uh, near Flamborough, near Bridlington. And with my mate Steve, I'll, I'll drop his, uh, his Insta down below if you go and check it out. But yeah, I've got some new kit as well. I've got the Star Watcher, uh, what do you call it, GTI. Um, I've only used it a couple of times, so I'm going to hopefully be having a bit of a play tonight, which should be good. I will, of course, do a review about that in the end. But yeah, so my plan is Orion should be rising um, not too long from now. So yeah, I'm going to uh, just grab some foregrounds now. Uh, there's a cliff behind me. I'm going to try and get those with the 85 and then, um, yeah, get the kit out, have a go, try and shoot something deep first. Oh, I can see the Milky though. Um, something deep first i want to go for the flaming star and then move it over to orion with the 85 once it's uh, up so yeah looking forward to it let's get on What's it doing? Shooting a YouTube video. Are you actually? <laughs> yeah, I am. I Hello. was supposed to be filming me setting up. Hi YouTube! <laughs> Such uh, a dick. Right, how do you use this thing? Yeah. yeah, the Ryan belt is just over the top of the cliff. No way! Hey look, there's no uh, no Polaris anymore. Oh, that's why I can't see anything. Yeah, no, it's gone. That's why I can't see anything. Right, so that's it. That is it kind of set up. I'm going to have to put my camera onto it now, but I've absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I, once I've figured it all out, then I'll do a video on it. 30 seconds is not enough. Oh, for fuck's sake. Pressing the wrong buttons. So I ended up shooting an hour on the Flaming Star Nebula RGB, which I added to um, a, a few, I think a couple of hours worth of data that I had from last year. Um, that, that they made that shot. I then went on to um, Orion and did an hour HA, two hours RGB and, and combined that. And then lastly, I moved on to the Rosette Nebula and the Cone Nebula and shot that and I got a half an hour of RGB and half an hour of HA. And uh, yeah, so in the end, like, the pictures are all right. I'm happy with them. It was great that we got um, that clear for that long on that night, but I was too greedy, I went for too many targets, and so I didn't get enough data, and so I wasn't really happy with each individual one particularly. They're, they're all okay, but uh, I really should have just stuck with Orion all night and got a really good picture, but yeah, that's what we got in the end. I've, um, I, I was too busy shooting that night to shoot any more video, and then the camera died as well, because I just we were shooting for hours and hours and hours. Um, I'm back out again, it's two nights later, and I have just had two hours on Pelides and um, hopefully that'll look alright when I stack that. So yeah, so far on the mount, uh, I'm really, really impressed with the mount um, as first impressions. Um, it's been a massive learning curve stepping up from using the, uh, the manual one, um, going to this one, but it makes life so much easier once you have figured out the app which is crap and, and figured out how to set it up and everything jumping from target to target is just so good like so much fun using so yeah first impressions are that it's really good i will i will do a review on it properly i'll do more videos about it uh, but yeah that's it so uh, if you made it this far i really do appreciate it and i hope to see you again soon take care 